Hello everyone. I just got my Bio Pop box that has my Dino Pet. My husband bought it for me and I'm extremely excited. It's my first video that I'm going to be posting just because I didn't find any on this. And I saw their placement on one of the BuzzFeed cool things to buy. So then that really sparked my interest and then I immediately wanted it right away um, just because I had a, a co-worker and she was talking about all the bioluminescence that's in Puerto Rico and I was telling myself when am I going to ever go to Puerto Rico, I'll never see anything cool like that and then when I saw that they had this for the dino pet, I told myself I had to buy it. So in the box, it I sh had a confirmation that it shipped on Monday. And today's Wednesday and I already received it and the box says to open it up immediately. So I'm glad I came home from work a little bit early because we live in Texas and it's really hot, like 100 degrees. Easily. I don't want my little friends to pass out on my porch. So here we go. I'm opening up the box and packing slip which my niece loves. She thinks it's the coolest thing. And then, Dino Pet, thanks for your purchase. Light them up, did you know? Image is everything and enjoy. Ooh, okay, so Dino Refill, 50% off code. It's really cool, cause I already know I'm gonna buy it. So, here it is. I guess they give you a 50% discount code. Oh, and then a little cute sticker. I love stickers, scrapbooking. And then another cool sticker, so yes, please. So in here, let's see. I guess, I don't know what this is. Biological and popular culture. So you have this metallic silver packaged in here. And it's packaged very tight, so I guess nothing will break. And then you get a box, and I guess... That's where my friend is, my little dino pet. So I'm just going to slide that open. Get the dino pet of Living by Luminescence Pet instructions. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of the coolest, smartest by luminescent pet on the planet. But before your new friend is ready to show off his skills, there's some important stuff to learn to ensure your dino pet stays happy and bright. Instructions, I'll always read it because I will not assume mostly when it's something that can die. So, let's read. Before you introduce the suspended dino philanties to their new home, the dino pet, carefully read the super important info. And so, I guess they really want to make sure that you read it. So, for all you fellas that don't want to read stuff and just assume, pay cl close attention to this. Unpacking your dinos. Remove the bag labeled dino from the shipping box. Follow the temperature and lighting instructions below. Your dino may be kept in the bag. They arrive in for several days or transferred directly to your dino pit. Keep your dinos at a temperature range between 65 and 75. Well, today outside it was at least 99 degrees. So just help they're still living, alive. Lighting. Place the dinos in a will let room for around 12 hours but avoid direct sunlight and light bulbs they get too hot turn off the lights move the dino pet to a dark area to ensure the dino spends 12 hours in the darkness before giving them more light be patient your dino pet may not light up in the first or even second night the shipping projects can be a little rough you may need to give the dino pet a day or two of light before it glows okay so the Dino Pet House Living Organisms from the Ocean, Dino Phalanges or Dinos, nickname, live in the salt water, Dino Pet requires proper care, attention, blah, blah, blah. Okay, table of contents, fill, photosynthesis, shake, illuminate, Dino Pet, tips from the pros, instant experts, warranty info, and about Biopop. So on the second page, it kind of gives you a table of contents for those who need some sort of direction not for children under five years of age well, i was going to get this for my niece and she's only three but let's just see how well her aunt does okay 
Wash, thoroughly wash your hands to make sure your nasty human germs don't get the dino sick. Yes, that's very true. Carefully unscrew the cap of the plastic bag. What is it? Yes. Okay. So in this box, I guess it's where my friends at the house. And there it goes. It was pretty much the size that I thought it would be, just because in the photos, it was really good on how it illustrated what I should be expecting. So it's just a plastic dinosaur with a little screw cap on the bottom. So I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. As you work it makes your life a lot easier so I'm gonna grab this aluminum bag and open the backing Jeez, Louise. Oh, hello. oh how cute okay so I guess this is just a protective cover Probably moose in there just to probably keep it clean. And so in this bag, you get these two babies right here. The dinos in the white, and it clearly says do not drink. And then the dino food in black, which also says do not drink. Alrighty. Okay, so in the photo, it illustrates that you will need a quarter to kind of unhook that or to unscrew that. So let me grab that. So I didn't find a quarter. But I found a peso, which is really neat. And I just got my hands dirty from touching money. All right, so turn the dino pet upside down over a sink or a drain. Place a coin. I'll just use my fingers. Insert the dino spell from the dino bag. So here we go. I'm just going to open it. Continue to fill your dino pet with a dino. Oh, no, wait. Carefully unscrew the cap. I can't open it. Here we go. So I guess my friends are in here. Carefully unscrew the cap of the bag. Set the bag upright. Open it. Here we go. Repeat this process for the dino food bag. All right, so I guess you need to place this white bag with the spout, and then you're going screw that white cap. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. It just looks like clear water. I don't see anything yet. I want it all to go in there. Ooh, okay. There might be something in there. I want all my friends to come out. I wonder if they're stick stuck on the on the bag. I don't know. But there it goes. I don't know if you can kind of see all the little specks that's floating in there. I guess. That's what's in there, floating around. All right, so now I need to do 
do the food. But what I didn't do was open the bag of food before I started this. So I'm gonna close it so none of my friends come out. I'm gonna tighten it up with that quarter. And it has a groove in there, so it makes it easier. So I'm just gonna put them down. Come on. This bag is so hard to open. Oh wait, it didn't say to shake it or anything, so I guess you just open it, you don't have to shake it. Just don't drink it. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna unscrew it. Continue to fill your dinner with fun food back by inserting the spout until you've reached your desired fill level. So it pretty much looks like my dino pet is already 80% full and I have a big old bag of food. So I'm just going to pour it until it's completely full. I guess I'll be having food left over. But it's already getting pretty full, and I don't want it to spill over. Shoot, I already did it. It's spilling over. That's what I get for being so greedy. There goes my friends in the napkins. So I'm just going to close the cap. Take my peso coin and close it. Okay, I think that's tight enough. Good. Wipe any spilled contents from the exterior of the dino pet and voila. Your dino pet is almost ready to glow. Get it? Hmm. All right, see, be patient on page one. Glad you reminded me. All right, so I'm just gonna double check. Yes, it's closed. Ew, so it's kinda, it, all, it does look like salt water where it's like clear, but then you know that there's stuff floating around there. So I'm just gonna close my bag of food. Looks really full. So, okay, replace the cap, da da we did that. Photosynthesis, important steps to feeding your dino pet avoid direct sunlight so I guess we won't be doing that wants to be in the light during the day and in the dark during the night without adequate light during the day the dino pet will not produce light at night and without sufficient time in the dark at least 30 minutes it will not light up when it's time to put on a light show we recommend giving the dino pet consistent light day and dark night cycles so 12 hours of light and 12 hours of dark is what they recommend end review led and fluorescent bulbs are good high pressure sodium high wattage and other hot bulbs are bad and they're expensive for you to pay too so go with leds or fluorescents i guess much like larger dinosaurs and other pets a dinosaur has a sleep wake schedule so basically be consistent wherever you're putting it at, but no direct sunlight. No sun, no worries. If you live in a place that doesn't see much sunlight, most home and office light will work. Okay. Oh, okay, the fun part on page eight. It's a really cute book. Shaking your dino pet too hard can hurt the dino phalanges within or even kill them. We don't want to kill them. Please help us prevent dino cruelty by shaking carefully and respectfully. Well, good to know, because I was going to shake them violently. This will damage and kill them. Week one, week two, week four. Okay, so it'll illuminate for at least... You have to put it in the darkness for at least 30 minutes before the light is viewable. Tips. Each week, the dental phalanges will divide and increase in numbers. As the numbers increase, the light will increase. I'm all for multiplying, so... 
not multiplying any other way, but and having more luminescence, yes. All right, so every four to six weeks, add dino food. To extend the life of your dino plant, you'll need to give them a little bit more food periodically. These dino cultures have known to grow for several months without anything except adequate lighting. Wash your hands carefully, unscrew the cap, da da da, -da. over a sink, drain, coin, insert dino food spout in the belly, fill until you reach your desired level. Okay, so place your extra bag of food in a dry area. Ooh, daytime dinos. Are you an educator who wants to show the magic of your dino pet off to your pupils? Or do you just want to be able to show off your dino pet skills during the day? <sighs> no. Oh, okay. So here's a photo of it magnified 65 times. That's what it looks like, which is not what you would be expecting in such a clear water container. So it's pretty neat. I guess I will just leave it alone for 12 hours and then I'll just add on to the video after a day and then I'll do another one after two days to see how it goes. So I will be back. I don't know what my friend's name is but he's here and I've been very excited. So no windows. I guess I will just leave him. Not next, I was planning on leaving it next to my succulents, but you guys can't really see. Not on my window sills. So I'll just leave it next to my collectibles. My little teacups and teapots, my Shelly's. So I guess he'll be having tea and candy here. Until then, we'll be back. Bye.